Oh, all right, guys. Hey, welcome back. Will Jones here with Little Fancy Faces uh, YouTube Spot. Um, what you see in front of you is all the stuff that I bought <laughs> to finally figure out or get my setup as far as when it comes to airbrush face painting. Some of the stuff. I don't want this to happen to you. I just wanted to show you the mess that I have. Here's some of the paints, and I'm gonna pull some of the paints out. That's actually temporary tattoo ink. Um, there's some of the bottles. Uh, that's a different fab. I'll tell you about that too. What else? I got some fab over there in the corner. Let's see what else we got here. Here's some of the. I'll tell you about these spare bottles you can use to mix your paint. And but anyway try not to get like this okay all right let me put these down and we'll get talking about more airbrush stuff okay first i want to tell you you can um there's two different routes that you can go you can go multiple airbrush you know six seven eight however many colors you want uh primary colors with some other colors you know however you want to do it or you can go with this system right here this is a spectrum 2000 system uh brand new 345 dollars there is a spectrum 2012 that is 395 dollars i think that you can get uh this is what i use this is a system that i bought for 75 bucks off of ebay with an airbrush a 145 dollar airbrush that i bought and got it i got it there's some things you got to do to get that system to work really good. So, and that's what I'm using now, mostly airbrushing. But it took me a minute to get it to work perfectly and flawlessly. There's a lot of quirks and things you got to do to it to get it right, which I'm going to tell you about. Okay, you can do multiple airbrush systems, like I said, you know, which is what you see mostly on um, YouTube. Now, when you get into multiple airbrushes, you got to have this. Hoses, yes, yay! Manifold, regulator. Uh, most of your regulators actually they have regulators on the uh, compressors and stuff. I may get into compressors. I'm not sure. Kind of burned up mine. I think I haven't retested it. My uh, compressor this weekend and had a backup uh, with me. Um, that's the other thing. You got to make sure you have electric or CO2. Or I'm trying to work out a deal where I have a battery and. Blah, blah, blah. you know I, I'm still working on that this summertime coming I got to get it get it right but this is a manifold uh, it takes six bought this offline I think for 20 bucks uh, this was a Harbor Freight piece for less than ten dollars and the hoses if you're looking to get into multiple airbrushing go to Harbor Freight you can beat the, the braided hose probably they're like ten dollars I forgot how long it is they're long which you can tell they're a mess now stay away from these this is a waste of money because they curl up and they're hard to take uh, uh to keep uh straightened out which if you look at this you say everything's hard you, all of them are but that's when me throwing them in a bag and taking them in and out uh, most of them they come with uh an adapter depending on what airbrush you have you decide to get okay comes with an adapter okay so harbor freight harbor freight harbor freight so all right, another good place to get gloves too. It's Harbor Freight. So if you, you know, I always usually, especially with this hybrid paint, uh, I'll take and put uh, a glove on my, you know, non. Um, I'm right-handed, so I always put it on my weak hand. So, but anyway, you got to have hoses and manifold. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure is you have, and I don't know if I have any around. Oh, I don't have it on the spool, but it is the plumber's tape. It is Teflon tape leakage make sure you have no air leaks okay that's the other thing plumber tape okay show you some paints practice with Muron liquid makeup this mixes with uh, distilled water or the mixing fluid I never use the mixing fluid you might want to try the mixing fluid it may mix a lot better you know I guess it says mixing fluid so it comes with a four four ounce bottle don't take much to dilute it uh, you'll have to play with it um, there are, you know, what you saw, let me see if I can get the, I got all the colors, I think, the Muron colors I was messing with, uh, blue, white, orange, purple, yellow, green, black, okay, all right, all the colors, I think, and there's a pink too, I didn't get a pink, 
I'm going to pink in a small bottle is what I end up doing and, and mixing it. Uh, but um, uh, the black is great, the white is great, uh, you, uh, the red, um, the yellow, the purple, um, I found myself having to dilute it too much. But the other thing I want to tell you is I used a smaller airbrush and I may not have to do that. I never used it with the big 5, uh, 0.5 millimeter airbrush, okay? Never used it. Um, so it may spray fine. It may not have to dilute it down as much if you use a siphon feed with a nice 0.5 millimeter opening, okay? Never did use it. I used it with the 3 millimeter, 0.3 millimeter in this, and it was kind of quirky. Couldn't get my mixing right. Uh, I bought these little extra bottles to mix them and... and uh, and I got them pretty decent. It 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 uh it was all right, okay. Um, I'm actually gonna blame it uh with a, on a combination of I used the wrong size airbrush. You want it like I said. You want to try to get a big uh, nozzle. This and getting the diluting it down properly. So it all wasn't quite matching up. So. But this is a route to go. These bottles here, they're four ounces. They cost ten dollars. Can't beat it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. You know, yeah, great, great paint to practice with. Get the mixing fluid or use um, distilled water. Okay. So now, Fab used to have this. This was a. The, Believe it or not, and it looks like they're new stuff, okay? Hybrid paint. Hybrid paint is paint that has, they say, a little alcohol in it. Only way you can clean it is with alcohol. Water base, great. Do not mix water with your hybrid paint. It will clog up everything. That's experience talking, okay? Hybrid paint, I love it. The, uh, matter of fact, I love this is Silly Farm Fab stuff. Absolutely I love this stuff. This stuff is great. The colors are vibrant. It's the cheapest hybrid stuff out there right now. You can't beat it because some of these people, they are selling their hybrid paint for $20 for two ounces. That's crazy. Okay? So go to Silly Farm and get you some hybrid paint. Or you can go to Silly Farm and get the Muron to test it out, you know, before you really start getting into the hybrid stuff. Um... This here, uh, if you have some of the old fab stuff, it was water-based. Do not mix the two, okay? Will not work, all right? Experience talking there. So, I, as a matter of fact, I need to throw this out just so I don't mess up because it looks the same. These look the same, but this is hybrid and this is water-based. Alcohol-based, water-based, do not mix, okay? extra mixing or get you some mixing bottles. I got these from uh, Michael's, I think it is. Um, They're flip top. Great for filling up your bottles or, you know, whatever you're going to use. So, but Muron paint is a great way to start to practice because it's a little bit just a lot cheaper to uh, get started. Matter of fact, I'll st I still practice with these colors because it's so cheap to practice with this. I don't like to use my hybrid stuff. The other thing great about hybrid, it's getting hot right this stuff i mean you run in the middle of the summer when it's like 85 degrees this stuff will melt as soon as it gets on your face they can't walk away from your booth and it's already running this stuff here if their face is dry and it goes on there it will stay there okay absolutely and that's the other th reason why i wanted to mess with the hybrid stuff and get the airbrush stuff going i want the kids to leave my chair and have their paint on their face all day. I don't care how hot it is. Okay. That's the difference in uh, hybrid and regular water-based paint. So um, let's see what else we can talk about before. This here is a paint mixer. Okay. You can add. This is a Badger paint mixer. I was going to make my own and how I did that was I basically dried out my sponge and brush traditional. You know, my this is a wolf right here. Uh, got it all nice and flaky dry and mixed water with it and it didn't do too bad too much work <laughs> rather buy and 
buy and spray that's my new model buy and spray so all right that's the paints um silly farm there are other brands out there when it comes to the hybrid uh i'm not familiar with them but as far as bang for the silly farms hybrid can go wrong all right thank you we'll have another one for you here shortly video wise if you have any questions comment subscribe we're probably going to get into stencils going to uh i think the next thing i'm going to start trying to tell you about is uh rather than a multiple airbrush system getting getting into the spectrum system so um any questions like i said leave comments down there i'll try to get back to you thank you for checking it out we've got more stuff for you